Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Now in today's video, we're going to be explaining MSI mode, how to set it, what you can do, the difference between that and line based mode. We're going to explain that. Now, this is a forum post on the Guru 3D forums from back in 2013. This has been out for a very long time. MSI mode was originally introduced in PCI Express 2.2 standard. It was expanded on in PCI Express 3.0. This is something that's very important. Now, there's something called your IRQ. That's kind of what it sends it through. Unlike the line, kind of think of it as like a phone number, kind of. As the way I understand it, this form does explain it. So, basically, this tool helps you lower your latency. I know people who have had issues with latency. They've had weird mouse graphs their mouse hasn't felt as good different stuff like that so basically the original way to do it was to just use the registry this registry key you can hit windows key and r then type in reg edit but we're not going to do that as you can see i was actually in here and you'd have to have a new key called msi support hit it to one this tool does it easier you don't have to go into the registry so this is a little more safer before I ex show you how to do it, certain SATA will have issues. For example, Windows 7, Windows 8, and 8.1, I have known them to have issues if you do not install a brand new driver. The driver that Windows gives you will cause blue screens. You won't be able to get back into your OS. Maybe you want to back up something if you are on that or you're a little skeptical of this. This works. I've had it on my Windows 10 installs for months. I've had no issues with it. Something important for me to say. So this thread form post will be linked down below in the description. You're going to want to go to MSI Utility V3. I just started using it over V2. You're going to want to download it. Then you're going to have to extract this folder and you'll get the actual exe file. I already have it on the desktop. So I'm going to open it. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is these IRQs. Now, as you can see that my Realtek Ethernet driver and my SATA controller are on the same. Now, that is bad. This will cause issues. My SATA and my Ethernet will not be very smooth. I might have some issues. So a way you can actually tell if something is in MSI mode is by these IRQ numbers. Negative numbers will always be MSI mode. The lower the number does not mean the better it is. Doesn't matter. Positive numbers are line based. Negative numbers are MSI mode. So, as you can see, supported modes, as you can see, my SATA controller is in MSI mode. I could actually double click and I could put it in MSI mode from here. I'm not going to do that. So, as you can see, my SATA controller does support MSI mode. Yours may, yours may not. So we're going to start off with your ethernet. So I'm going to check in MSI mode. It does work. So I'm going to put this in high priority. Your, your internet is important to you. And now your NVIDIA, GeForce, or whatever card you have. I believe that AMD will automatically put this in MSI mode for you. I know laptop NVIDIA drivers will put this in for you, but you're going to want to have this in MSI mode and high. Oh, the Ampere drivers, some of them might put them in MSI mode and high for you. Anyways, you're going to want to put your USB controller. So you're going to want to hit high as well. You might have another USB controller. Set that one to high in MSI mode as well. Your SATA controller. Now, as you've said, if it says MSI mode, it typically will go into MSI mode. No problem. I'm going to click yes to MSI mode because I know it will work. Windows 10, you'll typically have no issues, especially if you're on a newer system. While I'm thinking about this right now, you must, if you're having issues, run as administrator. Then you can get back into it. So I'm just going to set these once again. So low, high, high, and high. Do you want your SATA controller in low? Pretty sure I haven't said this already. Just put it in low because you're going to be playing your games on your RAM. 
especially if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM like me, you're going to want to put this. Your, your games will not be running on your SSD or your hard drive. Your audio controller. This one is very important, I found, to not have an MSI mode. This is the one I really recommend not putting in MSI mode. I've known people that have audio dropouts that have like pops and stuff. You're going to want to put this in not in MSI mode. But you're going to put it to high, so it's a big priority. And I know kind of get forgotten at times, I feel like. Now, these express root ports. Now, I believe this is just an AMD thing. Maybe if you have an Intel system and you have these Intel systems I've seen don't have them. But these root ports are these. Now, the reason that I actually have IR key sharing currently on Realtek and SATA is because, as you can see on this root port, I have my Realtek right here. And my SATA controllers together. That's important. So that's why I had our key sharing. They're on the same link. You can actually tell what is what by let's say I click on this root port. Then you'll see location. So I'm gonna click on the first one, and as you can see, PCI bus zero, device one, function three. PCI bus zero, device one, function three. That is that one. So I'm gonna hit this one in MSI mode. I'm gonna actually put this in low. Now even if you don't have your SATA controller in MSI mode, and you set that top one MSI mode, you will have no issues with it. On Windows 7, I've had that one in MSI mode. Windows 8.1, I have had no issues. Now, this is my graphics card. So, device 3, function 1. I hit the second one. Device 3, function 1. So, that is that root, that express, PCI Express slot. I hit low because these don't matter. And then you're going to hit this last one, device 8, function 1. Device 8, function 1. So we can hit that one also. Now those are already in MSI mode, but just make sure they're in MSI mode and low priority. Now the last thing you want to do is hit apply, close out. Now we're going to restart and see what happens. Now this is going to help kind of fix your issues so for example i know linus last year when he got his brand new wanix server his storage server the one with amd epic all the pci express 4.0 he actually had to switch to msi mode so that he could get the max performance out of it <clears throat> that's something very important to say definitely this will lower your latency kind of help the interrupts so i'm going to boot back into this windows and we're going to open up MSI mode utility one more time just to check everything is good. I believe it's restarting one more time just because of the fact that I switched some stuff in the MSI mode and I'll be right back when it boots. Okay, so I'm back. You're going to want to open up the MSI mode utility one more time. Right click run as administrator. Now, as you can see, I no longer have IRQ sharing. Negative two, there's nothing with negative two. There's nothing with negative 3, nothing with negative 4, nothing with 43, nothing with negative 5, negative 6, or negative 7. Now, the reason it gives me all these is because of my different USB ports that I have. So, each USB port has a different IRQ number. It's very important just to say. But, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Show this to someone if they need to get good. Get good latency. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.